Let me be very, very clear for all of you Democrats out there that swear up and down I'm some damn Trump supporter because I call it like I said. Well, 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 how does it feel being a free thinker, Stephen A? Huh? What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you guys all being here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate you guys all taking your time out of your day to view these videos. I really, really do thank you for it. Make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed up there and down here over there. All right? Really, really appreciate it if you guys would do that. And also, if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure you hit that like button so it can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm. And that way, YouTube will keep recommending my videos to you. All right. So, yeah, we got to get on this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try to do this in a way to where the screen would be big with my uh, co-host, Stephen A. No, I'm just choking. He's not my uh, he's not my co-host, but I'm going to try to get it up here. And I'm going to set you guys up a little bit here. I did a video the other day with Donald Trump. I did his whole live speech. He did in Ohio. I even did a video yesterday defending the fact that tr what Trump said about bloodbath was taken completely out of context. I showed you guys a video of what Trump said, and then I showed you guys a video of CNN and them all doing the same exact thing, saying bloodbath, 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 blah, 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 and how it's taken out of context, right? So Stephen A. is someone that was a sports uh, commentator, analysis, what have you. He's now doing his own thing, still talking sports and various things as well, but what happened is that Stephen A. himself, because he looked at something for being the truth, he instantly got called a Trump supporter, and he was not happy about it at all. And this is what they do, Stephen A. You're going to have to realize that, that this particular party, if you don't sit there and do it and, and go along with how they want you to go along with it, sir, you too, you too will be completely scolded by them and the black community will call you a uncle tom sambo coon boot liquor tap dance for the white man house negro the whole nine yes they will and without further ado let's get ready to get into this ladies and gentlemen when you watch the headlines talking about donald trump they were mischaracterizing his comments Yes, he said what he said, but it was taken completely out of context because he was talking about the auto industry and business with China and how if he's not elected, it's going to be problematic in terms of doing business with China as it pertains to the auto industry. I don't take it back. I ain't backing up one inch. As he should. What the hell is going on here? Let me tell y'all something. I'm really getting sick and tired of people mischaracterizing my quotes. This is the beauty of having my own platform and saying what I want to say and what I need to say only for the perspective of quoting me accurately and contextualizing what I say accurately. Then do what you want. But any given time that I want to, when you mischaracterize what I say, I'm going to come back at your ass. That's what I'm going to do. Let me be very, very clear for all of you Democrats out there that swear up and down. I'm some damn Trump supporter because I call it like I said, I didn't vote for Trump in 2016. I didn't vote for Trump in 2020, and I damn sure ain't going to vote for him in 2024. And if you really, really want my history, let me take it a step further. I voted for Michael Dukakis versus H.W. Bush, even when he tried to hoodwink everybody and use those Willie Horton ads that ultimately worked for him. I voted for Bill Clinton, not once, but twice. I voted for Al Gore. That's the first time I heard about, you know, what is it, you know, what is it, leaning chads at the voting booth? Y'all see what's going on here, don't y'all? You see what's going on here? I'm going to tell y'all in a minute if you don't see what's going on here. Hanging chads, rather. I don't know this stuff, but I voted for Al Gore. Yes, I did. I voted for John Kerry. Yes, I did. And you damn right I voted for Barack Obama, not once, but twice. And I voted for Hillary Clinton. And I voted for Joe Biden, despite the crime bill leading to mass incarceration for minorities in this country. Say black people. I'm just <laughs> calling like everybody else doing, Stephen A. Black people. It was entirely his fault because you had the Congressional Black Caucus pushing him to do it. But he bragged about how it was his bill, his bill, his bill, until it wasn't politically expedient for him to do so. 
I've been voting for Democrats, but hey, I'm a fair-minded individual. And when Republicans make sense, I'm going to give them I'm going to give them credit for it. That's one thing he is not doing. So what is Trump doing right now that's not making sense? What is Trump doing right now that's not making sense? Now, when I told you guys, I said, y'all see what Stephen A is doing right here? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give y'all an example, white people. Let me give y'all an example. Somebody call y'all a racist. Instead of just going, I'm not a racist, leave it at that. You know what they, you know what a lot of y'all do? I'm not saying all of you guys, but you know what a lot of you do, and I tell you guys not to. I'm not a racist. I got a friend that's black. I'm not a racist. My granddaughter is black. I'm not a racist. My son is married to a black woman. I'm not racist. My daughter's married to a black man. And my grandkids are half my kid, my, they're they're mixed. They're half breed. They're 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 interracial. Don't give nobody no excuse. You don't have to, you don't owe them nothing. You don't owe them nothing. When people come, y'all, I have done so many different things where people will come at me and say, oh, there, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I can tell right now, same, man, just, you know, they got you, who got me, that Democratic plantation, man, because the stuff you're talking about right now, what? I'm not a Democrat. Okay, boom. Oh, man, look look at you. Huh? The stuff you're saying right now, man, you, you, got, you got this conservative stuff going on, so I know you a Trumper. A Trumper? Yeah, you a Republican. I'm not a Republican either. I don't give y'all no excuse. I'm going to tell you I'm not. That's it. And I say it all the time. I'm not for the left. I'm not for the right. I'm for the up. His way. Period. That's it. But I'm not about to tell you the reason why I'm not a Democrat because I don't do this. I don't do that. Uh, well, the reason why I'm not a Republican is because I believe in this. Or I believe in that. And I think we all. I don't, I don't give you. I'm going to give you no excuse. That's it. I'm just going to tell you that I'm not. And that's it. Boom. You can insinuate and assume and do all that you want to. I don't care. Because one thing you are not going to be able to do to Ty Smith, you are not going to be able to box me. But what I wanted to throw this out there for is that the same thing that Stephen A is saying right now, you guys, y'all might try to jump on this because some of you have seen my channel. You've seen the different things I've done on here. Some of you guys, y'all do the same exact thing when I did a video on Trump and I was criticizing Trump with what he was doing. I was saying, Trump, talk about what you're going to do. No, Trump, no, don't talk about what we did and what we had. And, uh, talk about what you're getting ready to do. And da, 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 da. Let's do that. Oh, there you, uh, well, we knew you was a, we knew you was an infiltrator. We knew you was a Reno, a Rhino. We knew you was a Reno, Reno, Rhino. Y'all saying all types of things. We knew you was Republican in name only. Well, you can call me that because I'm not a Republican. Oh, you, you must, so you just, you, you admit to being Democrat. I'm not a Democrat either. I'm just me. My point is, the reason why Stephen A is catching that heat like he is and the reason why I caught heat like I did is because you don't expect. I'm not when I say you, I'm not talking about you guys that are watching. I'm saying a person in general. One does not expect in this particular current atmosphere in the political world. One does not expect black people to think independently and on their own. Do they? No. Because if you are Democrat, good old black person. But if you do want to go the Republican way, oh, who just sat there and got you all indoctrinated? Who then brainwashed you? All oh, them, yep, yep, you, you, you bound down a massa. What? You cannot win for losing. Dare you to think on your own. Now, what Stephen A. did right here was completely 100% fair he said, nope, y'all lying on that man. That is not what he did. Oh, you must be one of them. Look what y'all doing. I sat there and told y'all, y'all told me, well, not you guys told me, but you guys asked me, Ty, we know that you say a lot of things that's going on with this current administration and his leadership and how you don't agree with it. But if you can find one thing that you and Joe Biden would agree on and one thing that you can compliment him on, what is that? I said, he and I both, both are great. We're kind of sewers of ice cream. I love it. And I told y'all, I'm just being real. I'm not, I'm not saying that to those shots, no matter how y'all might think it. I literally love ice cream and I like different flavors. And I said, if I was to meet Joe Biden, I would say, sir, although I don't agree with probably 99% of the stuff you do, but you and I with ice cream, we can do that. Matter of fact, have you been to Kilwins and tried the New Orleans Praline Crunch? Who find me something better. Oh, uh, we knew it. So Joe Biden won you over because you like ice cream. What the heck are y'all talking about? That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all don't know how to disagree with somebody it don't mean that you that you like them it don't mean that you dislike them you disagree with their policy you disagree with their what they're bringing you disagree with their message it don't mean i have to sit there and dislike you but some of y'all don't have the mental intelligence to even do that on the republican side and the democratic side and it showed in my videos amongst you who claim to be public y'all 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 did not act any different than the left 
Y'all do all this bashing the left. The left do all this bashing the right. But when somebody sit there and criticize y'all guy who y'all for some odd reason exalted up in y'all mind as y'all God or something, y'all get pissed off. And that's weird to me. It does not matter to me. It doesn't. But at the same time, I said all that to say this, Stephen A. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to being a free thinker and looking at stuff for what it is. And when you do that, you're going to see how the people really feel about you. As long as you keep saying and doing what they want you to, but don't you dare go venturing off and thinking for yourself, Stephen A. That's why channels like mine get so suppressed. It's a threat. It's a complete threat because this Negro has escaped the mental South plantation, period. And I'm not going back and you will not be able to get me back. I know what it's like to be free. I love it. I can smell it. I can taste it. I will never go back there again. I'm always going to be free. And I'm going to make sure I do the same thing for other ones that's on the mental slavery plantation too, to get them off should they want to be mentally free from the slave plantation. Plain and simple. Anyway, let me know what y'all think of this video right here. Shout out to Stephen A for doing this thing. I think you're still crazy for voting Democrat because I would like to know why you, well, you say you still voted for Joe Biden with that crime bill. And Trump literally was somebody that actually was kind of undoing what he did with the crime bill. He worked with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West to overturn a lot of prison sentences and all that. So I'm just trying to figure out, I would love to talk with Stephen A. Stephen A., what is it about Donald Trump policies and what he wants to do with America that you don't like? Now, y'all seen the video I played earlier where Donald Trump said, if you want safe borders, safe neighborhoods, da-da-da-da-da, welcome, you're a Republican. Stephen A., you literally say things like that on your show. But saying things like that going to get you in trouble. Anyway, folks, don't forget before y'all get out of here to hit that like button right there, all right? Appreciate it if you do that. Get into those cell phones. Let somebody know in your cell phone contact list about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to this channel after they checked it out. Also, any of you guys that got social media or anything like that, DM somebody and tell them, hey, go subscribe to this dude's channel right here. You will really like it, especially if they're like-minded like us, all right? Appreciate it. I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.